Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the following animation in KOWP. So you did notice there we had this center line animating out, followed by these two half pieces that make up a circle animating, and then we had these little pods flying out, and then we had these other four pods as well. If I press this X, it will reverse the animation so everything goes back to how it started. This is going to be a two-part series to this tutorial. The first part, we're going to create each individual shape that we want to animate. And then the second part to this tutorial, we will actually apply the animations to it. One thing to note about this, this particular technique is not going to intrude on backgrounds. We're not going to be applying any clears to these particular pieces to achieve our animations. What do I mean by that? If I were to add an image to this... For example, here, my background is now the image of my son. This is pictures from this past fall. Now we can still get those same animations and nothing is getting intruded. We're not blocking any part of the image except for obviously the parts where we have our little widgets and pods popping up. If you've messed with clear before, sometimes you may notice you have to kind of like put a shape that's not really there in the way. And we're not going to apply that technique for this particular tutorial. Uh, what we can do here is we can add this animation and it's not going to obstruct anything else in your custom live wallpaper. With all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Starting with a blank slate in KOWP, let's go ahead and add a shape. This is going to be our center line, and I'm going to go ahead and rename that to center line. This center line, I want to position it in the center of the screen for the sake of this tutorial, and I'm going to make it a rectangle. I'm going to give it a width of about 400. I'm going to bear this number in mind because that's how big our circle is going to be as well, that first big circle that animates out. Going to make it a fairly thin line, maybe about a height of five. Keep that number in mind as well when we go to create our other pieces. So there's our center line. Now, this big circle that you saw animate out back at the beginning of the video, it's really going to be two shapes. So let's go ahead and add a shape. For this shape, let's make it a circle slice. Let's position this in the center of the screen as well. And for this circle slice, let's give it a width of 400. Let's give it a height of five to match our length of our rectangle and the height of our rectangle. Now for this angle, we want this to be 180 degrees, a half circle. And now I want to apply a rotation to it so that I'm seeing the top half of this circle here, but not at this angle. So that rotation, if we set it to 270, we should be good to go. So there's our top part. Let's copy and paste this to create the bottom one, and the only thing we'll have to change there is the rotation. I'm going to rename this top one before I copy and paste it. So this is my top big circle. Technically, it's a half circle, but it'll be all right. Copy and paste. Rename it bottom big circle. For the bottom big circle, I'm going to go to its rotation, and let's change this rotation to 90 degrees, and now we have the bottom part. So really, we have two circle slices that make it appear to be one big circle. And with the rotation that we've applied to it, that's what gives it that effect. All right, the next thing we wanna focus on are the big pods that pop out. And they popped out at like a 45 degree angles. One popped out here, one popped out here, one popped out here, and one popped out right there. So let's work on creating that. And we're gonna put all of these inside of one overlap group. And then we're just gonna space them around such that they'll be right here on the edge of this circle. So here's how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add an overlap group. I'm gonna call it Big Pods. So inside of this Big Pods overlap group, I'm going to add another overlap group inside of here. And I'm going to call this Top Right Pod. So this top right pod, which sits inside of the big pods overlap group, let's go inside of the TR, top right pod, and let's add a circle inside of here. I'm going to give this circle a width of, let's say around 140. Let's go to its paint and let's set it to stroke. And let's set the stroke to match our heights and our thicknesses of our line, which is around five. Now, what we're also going to add inside of here, and I'll tell you what we can go ahead and do before we move on any further here. We want to put this in the center of our screen as well, but let's be careful now. Remember, we had the TR pod, the top right pod, sitting inside of Big Pods Overlap Group. So for our Big Pods Overlap Group, let's center that entire piece, and that's going to move it right there to the center of our screen. 
Now let's go back into the top right pod where we had this little circle sitting and let's add a rectangle. Let's give this rectangle a width of maybe 40, not too much. We just want a little antenna coming off of this pod and let's give it a height of the same thickness of five. Let's apply a rotation to this rectangle. You can't really see it, but it's that little rectangle right there. You're getting ready to see it a little bit better once I apply a rotation of 45 degrees. And now you can see that it is rotated, but actually I want to go farther than 45. Remember, we want this one to be the top right pod. So I actually want this thing to rotate, uh, not 45, let's try 135. I want this angle to go this way and not this way. So let's try 135 instead. There we go, that's what I want. Now, this line that you see here and this circle are sitting inside of the TR pod overlap group. I want to take this rectangle that we have at this angle of 135, that's what the offset is set to. Let's position this such that this is going to be somewhere around here where this top right corner, let's make sure we understand this, this top right corner of this rectangle right here, I want it touching right down in here somewhere. Now to do that, we can go over to the position of this shape that we're messing around with and I'm going to apply some right padding and I'm going to apply equal amounts of top padding. So notice I got them both at 75 for right now. Let's do some more right padding. Let's do some more right padding. This is probably gonna be a little bit too much but I'm doing equal amounts of each. And actually that is perfect with the way I have it set up. Basically, I want that line, that short line, to sit there and sit right on the edge of that circle. That looks perfect right there. Now, we are inside of TR pod, which has the circle and the rectangle. Let's position this entire overlap group that has this little circle and this line. Let's position and let's change our padding on this now. Now keep in mind, we just adjusted the padding of that individual line, but now we're about to adjust the padding of the entire overlap group. I want to put this pod up here in the top right hand corner. So applying some left padding, and we're gonna do equal parts left padding and equal parts bottom padding. So right here, this is a little bit too much, you know, 450 and 450. Let's back that up a little bit, and let's see how that looks. Now, we're gonna fine tune this a little bit because if you notice, this actual rectangle is sticking a little bit inside of that line. So all we need to do is probably bump it up to maybe about 430. All right, so equal parts 430 and 430, and I don't see a gap up there. That looks pretty good. That is our top right pod. Let's save that. Let's go back to the home screen, and that looks good. If you see a little gap there, maybe take a little bit of your padding off. Now, the reason why I have all of this stuff, so let's go back and look and see what we have. We have a center line. That's going to be animating. Then we're going to have this top big circle and this bottom big circle. They're going to be animating based off of mask. Now, I want those to animate differently than how this pod and my other three pods that I'm going to create here. I want this circle top part and this circle bottom part to animate differently using different masks. That will make more sense when we get to part two. That's why I'm putting my big pods. I'm about to create three more of these pods and we're gonna put all of them inside of this big pods overlap group because these four pods that we're getting ready to have here can all animate the same. So to speed this up, let's copy and paste this top right pod and let's call it TL pod for top left. Now what we're gonna to have to do here is inside of this top left pod, I want it to be over here on this side. Well, for one thing, let's go ahead and position the entire overlap group. This is going to have the circle and the rectangle. Let's change the left padding to right padding and let's type in 430. Make sure you take away the left padding. And now this pod is where it needs to be. However, this rectangle now needs to be situated right here. So what we can do inside of our top left pod, let's go to the shape that we have as a rectangle and let's go adjust its position. Now well, we're gonna have to adjust something else as well. We wanna come and change the offset now back to 45. We want that to be angled in a different direction. Notice how our rectangle is angled differently. Just a moment ago, it was angled like this. Now we have it like this and that's how we want it. Now let's go adjust the position. We want to change our right padding that we had a moment ago to left padding and I'm gonna use the same 125. Make sure I take my right padding and set it back to zero and we should be in business. 
there you go. So this is good. We have our top two pods. Now I'm going to fast forward. I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to change some of the left and right paddings to get these bottom left BL pod and bottom right pod. I'm going to copy and paste this one and feel free to slow the video down. But really, I'm just going to go in here and change the paddings of each piece to make my pods line up and have these little rectangles touching the bigger circle. Now, that's the four basic pods, and I did have four more smaller ones over here, and on that particular preset, they were used for my music controls and stuff like that. You could basically redo this whole process again where, now bear in mind, I have top right, top left, bottom left, and bottom right. I have all of these little pods inside of one overlap group, but then, you know, that's completely separate from the top big half circle and the bottom big half circle and the center line. So when I come in part two of this tutorial and I start applying mask animations, I can mask each one of these. I can mask this one differently than this one and differently than this one so that I can get whatever type of animation I'm trying to achieve. Now, if you wanted to apply separate animations to each individual pod, you would not be able to put all of those pods inside of one overlap group like I did here. But with the way we have it set up right now, when we get into the animations, we will be able to do that. Now, if you wanted to add the smaller ones in here, you could actually take this big pods, copy and paste it, apply some rotations. But for now, I think we're at a good stopping point. We've created the general look. And then when we come back in part two, we'll actually get to some animations. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.